Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this craft haul. I wanted to share with you a few things that I got from different places. I went to Hobby Lobby and I loved the store. I got these two Shea necklaces. One is gold and one is silver. And I'm planning to make a lot more necklaces. So I'm just going to be using these two. I think they are super handy because you just have to add the um, charm and you're good to go. Pretty cool. And they were super affordable as well. And then from Hobby Lobby, I got this fish hoop ear wires and I got this package of like gold and then copper and a real antique silver. Yeah, I'm planning as well on making a lot more earrings. The bad thing about this ones is that I opened them just to try how they felt and they feel a bit like cheap. Like if you move the wire a lot, it's going to open like super easy so you know just keep that in mind then i went to the dollar store and i got this spatula i think they are always good to have yeah it was affordable and i like it and then from amazon i ordered this three gel food coloring which is super black gold and bright white and yeah, i'm just going to be making a lot more um, dessert um testing these guys out to see how they go they changed the logo thing on the top part that called my attention for some reason and yeah i really hope they didn't change the formula because i love that brand and then i went to michael's and i got this portable cupcake stand or storage thing this is plastic i'm going to be making a review on this one because i think it's going to be quite handy and I wanted to make it a review apart from this video. And then I got this set of brushes from Mod Podge. Tiny ones, thin ones, just for details when I paint my polymer clay accessories or when I paint on my phone cases. Then I got these two brushes because, you know, it's always good to have like these kinds of brushes. They were super affordable as well. Then I got these bags. They are like mini um, Ziploc bags. I've used them a few times already and, and they work and I love them. And you get a bunch of them, so quite handy. Then I got this liquid stitch because sometimes I am just too lazy to saw the whole thing. So I just, and so far so good. And then because I do a lot of like polymer clay accessories, I decided to just try this one that is accents from Scooby Primo on the thing at Michael's it says that it's supposed to be for polymer clay jewelry and then I got this lobsters this is just for my necklaces and these are just in gold and silver and then I got some acrylic paints I got the Americana in white from Martha Stewart's brand this mermaid teal color in satin which i really really love by folk art I got the silver sterling I got the gold one the 4k gold one and I got this Antique Cooper. I got the black uh, acrylic paint by Americana. And these ones I'm going to be using for my polymer clay accessories and to paint all my phone cases. So stay tuned for that. And then I got this one, this magnet for my fridge. And it says, if my dog doesn't like you, neither do I. I think it's super funny. Not that I'm not going to speak to people who don't like dogs or my dogs. But I think it's important that when you go to a house, and you get along with everybody in the house. So, And then I got this crystal clear acrylic coating because I've seen a lot of people doing DIYs with this kind of like glossy spray and I wanted to give it a try. So I thought I would just give you a review on this one since I've tried it. It's affordable-ish. <laughs> So this is the phone case that I just painted. It's shiny, but it's not glossy. I added this yesterday and then I let it dry for 24 hours, it says, and then it dries. There you go, 10 to 15 minutes. Handle after two hours, no, that's a lie. I tried to trash it after two hours and it was still sticky. I went to bed and seems like it got like stuff from my bed. Cotton of my sheets all over it like it's stuck. It goes to the, with the theme of Halloween, which I do have a tutorial in this one if you want to check it out. Looks like spider webs or something, but it's stuck in there. Like I cannot remove these parts. I mean, I can if I try to like that, but this is not the point of this. I can even touch it now. Still sticky after like two days of letting it dry. Not really sure how to show you but you can feel it's not like fully fully dry I'm not really sure I didn't like it I tried this one before and I have never had this issue with this one I bought it at Home Depot maybe I got a bad bottle uh, sometimes that happens or maybe I'm not doing something that I'm supposed to be doing but again I read the instructions which I never do so yeah just so you know 
so yeah sorry about that i that i didn't like that one but the rest i'm loving i bought most of the stuff in october but i think they carry most of these items all year round and that's why i wanted to post this hopefully you like this haul if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up it helps a lot don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff and don't forget to share it thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you later bye guys